Hello everyone, Corn here. Welcome to my channel. And today I have a thrift haul. And I've had this for a few weeks, but I wanted to go ahead and do a video so that I can put things up. Um, this is just, uh, it's two trips to one particular uh, thrift store that is has pretty sweet things I like and, and good prices. Sometimes the prices are a little high on the linens, but most of the time, you know, they're pretty good as you'll see and but first off I'm going to show you I did get this tiny little basket for 59 cents and isn't that precious look at the little wooden top and then the little strap here and in my last thrift haul I had showed you another small little flower basket that I was going to replace a basket that is on a rabbit that is um, the rabbit is holding it under a paw like this in my craft room and I personally don't like the basket that came with it so I wanted to replace it and I'm not sure if I'm going to do some painting on this or just leave it as it is because I think that is just adorable great price too I think and then I did get some doilies my first one is this sweet pink very very pale pink one they had 99 cents on this one and look at how tiny the um, crocheted stitches are wow and I also got this one for 99 cents this as you can see is a heart and then around three sides it has a ruffle to it this was 99 cents if I didn't already see that. And this, do you all ever do this? Everything in the linens bin has a price on it except the one you're interested in. <laughs> so I had to go up and um, take it to the associate and she asked the manager and they let me have it for 59 cents. Speaking of 59 cents, I also got this gorgeous machine embroidered um, napkin and as soon as I wrap up everything here I'm going to be putting this in coffee <laughs> just <laughs> so I was happy to find those there and um, to be real honest at this time of year they did not have a lot of linens this time around they did have, for 59 cents again, this cute little tin. Here is the cover on it. Isn't that cute? With the bow and the bird and the pink roses and all these wonderful flowers and greenery. And it is signed, let's see, Vicki, oh boy, Havert is what it looks like. And then it has with the Black Eyed Susans and the watering can and butterfly and baskets. And of course, you know, that's why I like it so much. The rabbit in the clay pot and the teacup with pink roses. And then the little birdhouse outside with two birds and the nest and the topiary tree. And then, yes, for the garden. I wish ours looked that gorgeous. You've got your gardening tools and then this beautiful blue and white striped bow <laughs> and um, it's in good shape too um, as you know with tins this is probably what this looks 80s doesn't it looks like the 80s to me especially to put a bow around your gardening tools see pretty good shape it's got one little mark in there but nothing too bad if, if you all are like me You've had grandmothers or mother-in-laws and people in your life that um, use these tins for sewing. You might open it up and find um, needles, thread, embroidery floss, um, scraps of material. You might find um, buttons. It's just, and so I grabbed that. I was happy to find that. I thought it was so sweet. And then, Especially at this time of year. 
This was 59 cents also. And this, um, at least according to this right here, is a framed um, cover to a music book. And they, it's, uh, I'll be happy when the preacher makes you mine. I personally don't know that song offhand. I don't know if you see, but there's two little cupids here watching them. And it says that the words are by Sam M. Lewis and Joe Young. And the music is by Walter Donaldson. So I thought that would be nice, um, not only in the house, but to have on display. Oh, let's put that here because the rest is books. As you all know, I'm trying to use up what I already have. And so um, I, I'm not getting as much as I usually do at uh, these wonderful thrift stores. But I was able to find quite a few books. And they're... Paperback books are 50 cents, and the hardback books are a dollar unless otherwise marked. Some of them are marked up to $4.99, depending on the book. But I got this for 50 cents, and um, it's a darling book. I don't know if you're familiar with it or not, but it's a celebration of a capable kind of gal. <laughs> and it's... Uh, marked on the inside that it was given to someone it's called the betty book and just don't you love 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 i i got it for junk journaling don't you love this and wouldn't that be precious on a journal the very first page of course i'd have to cut it down but this book belongs to and this came out in 1997 and <laughs> once upon a time and it's really cute. It, it tells about a woman, a young woman named Elizabeth, and how she just hated her name. And so someone that she really respected, who was her grandparents' Irish housekeeper, uh, her name was Betty, and how Elizabeth was just so in awe of how wonderful this woman was. And... She basically says, you know, well, Elizabeth moans, I hate my name. It's putrid, vile, gross. And then Betty, the housekeeper, winced at the words, no, no, that's not true. Elizabeth is a fine name. Oh, that's easy for you to say. You have a cool name. You're a Betty. But Betty is a nickname for Elizabeth, Betty said. Jesus, Joseph, and Mary, Elizabeth exclaimed, <laughs> an expression that she learned from Betty's Noxzema-scented knee. How many of us have sat at a knee that did smell like Noxzema? Um, but just remember, Betty is as Betty does. The name comes with a responsibility, so it even gives you a test to take to see, aren't those darling? To see if you are a Betty <laughs> and just because you know I'll go on and on and on when it comes to the book so I'm just going to um, give you a few of these questions and then I'll just come through the book <laughs> it says your favorite food is French Northern Italian Japanese or for thought food for thought <laughs> and then your second your favorite insect is the butterfly the spider the Spanish moth, or the quilting bee. <laughs> There's quite a few people who'd say the quilting bee here on YouTube, isn't it? Well, anyway, and it goes on and on like that. Just, just precious. Just absolutely. One more. You identify with people who need people, need a personal relationship with God, need money, or need dough. <laughs> need dough. <laughs> oh, well. So I'll just sum through and let's see, so cute and clever, so so much fun. And just love the images. And there's uh, just super cute pictures. And if you ask me, it's just a celebration about how wonderful a lot of the women that are we have in our lives are. Look at that. 
Aren't they precious images? Ooh, some very famous ones. And then it goes on like that. And some of the um, answers have been written in, so I'm gonna thumb through those so we can keep those private for the original owner. Look at that. What do Betty's name their dogs? Isn't that darling? <laughs> so I just thought that would be great for junk journaling. And I got one more for 50 cents. And this is the one I love, the French inspired home. Just the cover alone is so yummy. Yum, yum, yummy. And um, fuck, aren't those colors gorgeous? And this one, I don't know when it came out, but this one was stored to the point where I'm gonna have to get it aired out some because it's a wee bit musty. And um, a lot of people like me don't mind the musty smell, but if you're giving um, pages away in a journal for a gift, sometimes people are like, no thank you. And this one came out and I wish I, I'm sorry that I didn't look these up before. That would save some time, wouldn't it? Um, I don't see a date. Well, that'd be doggone. Well, I'm not going to take, oh, it's um, 2000. Well, the photography is 2006. Okay, not too long ago. But look, y'all, look. Just wouldn't these be gorgeous pages? In a junk journal, oh, wouldn't I love to have some of this stuff? <laughs> the tapestries, I and mean, look at that, just gorgeous. Oh, those colors and the reds are so rich. Look at the blues, just so pretty. So, so pretty. Oh, I love this. Love this so much. And I'm gonna thumb through quickly but it is just breathtakingly beautiful, these photographs are. Oh my word, look at this on the mantle or shelf. Oh, ho, ho. doesn't that give y'all ideas? It does me. Ooh, look. I haven't gone through the whole thing yet. Can you tell? Then there's a kit, kitty cat on the bed. Oh, I'm supposed to say cat. There's a cat on the bed. Look, ooh, those rich reds again. Look at that bird, how cute. That's the laundry room. Oh my word, I wouldn't mind doing laundry in that. Would you, wouldn't you say, okay, laundry's not so bad if I get to go in that room? My laundry room doesn't look anything like that. <laughs> I just thought it was absolutely gorgeous and Again, I know I take a long time. And look at this. They actually give you labels. Oh, my, 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 my. Ooh, love this page. Ooh, and it's on the back of the labels. Eh. Look, y'all. Aren't they gorgeous? Look. <gasps> See, that's a bad thing. You're like, oh, which one to use? Ooh, beautiful, just absolutely gorgeous. Look at the menu. And then your table of contents. So 50 cents on this one too. Then I was able to find um, these lovely books that are hardback that I paid a dollar each y'all, which kind of shocked me because I thought they would mark these up because they are very, very nice books. And look, y'all, look at this book. Just a very, very nice book. And I'm not personally familiar with this artist. I bet a lot of you all are. I'm not, this was normally $40. And I'm not familiar with his artwork, but I'm sure those of you who love, um, this appears to be trolls and fairies. And if I am wrong, please correct me because I don't know too much about them. 
or about this artist, to be honest. But look at this, y'all. Just, and the font is gorgeous. Everything, it definitely looks like a $40 book. I can tell you that. If not more, if you ask me. Oh, mercy. Handsome's gonna like that one. Oh, this is a sinner fleeing judgment. Uh -oh. Run, sinner, run. <laughs> and I'm gonna thumb through this also. This one reminds me of Haley Southern Belle simply cause it's got a frog in it. She loves her frogs. Oh my mercy. I can't see a frog without thinking of Haley. Isn't that nice what we do for each other here on YouTube? If we learn that a certain person loves certain critters. Oh, wow, look at this piece. Oh, my word. And the black and white drawings are gorgeous. Just beautiful. I was going to say Midsummer Night's Dream. <laughs> And then you go on and on and on. And I cannot believe I got this for a dollar. Oh, that cat was so cool looking. And then I also found the making of a garden. This was also a dollar. I love it when they do garden books in green. <laughs> And I'm going to thumb through this one because, as you know, this was normally $45. Interesting. And I'm sure you have seen so many gardening books when it comes to junk journaling that I'm just going to thumb through this. But the pages, this has a little musty smell too, but that's all right by me. Look at the snow-covered garden. Isn't that gorgeous? Uh. Snow is pretty, I just don't want to travel in it. Oh, that may, oh, these gardens. Oh, isn't that gorgeous, y'all? Look at that. Just beautiful. I just saw some tulips. Look at this. See, it fascinates me that someone would actually plan out a garden and and to have, when they, when the flowers come up and everything, it just, because I've never done that, y'all. Mine's just been like, oh, these are pretty, let's plant them, you know? I've never been like that. But I, I find it fascinating that so many people do that. She's also dealing with trees, and there were some vegetables I just saw fly by. And then, ooh, look at this. The Good Land Farm Families Remembered, and I really love this one. This was a dollar also, y'all. <gasps> Look at the working horses. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, so beautiful. Look at this. And it says the book is dedicated to the many farm families who still embrace the values and traditions fashioned by their forebears in simpler times. Hard work, honesty, and a strong sense of love and respect for land, family, church, and country. Wow. Look at these pictures. I love these pictures so much, and Handsome's gonna love this one. Oh, he loves his chickens. Just great, great pictures. Look at that great face, holding a little baby duck. Oh my word. And the bibbers and jeans on the line. Oh, I used to wear bibbers a lot, y'all. In fact, handsome, and he was courting me. I wore a lot of bibbers. He's he still likes bibbers to this day. <laughs> oh, look at those horses, y'all, and those cows. Aren't they gorgeous? But look at these babies. <gasps> Just beautiful, beautiful. And the icicles hanging from the barn roof. Oh wow. I just I love this one so much. I, I like them all, I really do, but this is, this is my favy. Oh, my word. 
just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at that. Love the cow and the silos. And then my last one is John Singer Sargent. This is by Kate F. Jennings. This was a dollar also. This is huge, as you see. This is black with the gold lettering. And, oh boy. You all might be familiar. Look at that, wow. Look at the satin on that dress. You can tell it's satin. Oh, <laughs> wow. That just, mm, I love this. Just love it. Absolutely gorgeous. And I'll thumb through as quick as I can. This is quite a heavy book because it's so large. It's not super thick, it's just so large. And that is Robert Louis Stevenson. Cool. Look at that. <gasps> Look at that one. And this is a portrait of Claude Monet. Look at that. Aren't they gorgeous? And the young man laying down in the boat. <laughs> the children, such beautiful, beautiful portraits. Whoa. And I would like to thank you all for joining me today, and I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening. Bye-bye, everybody.